We are the transferring muffin men and took the South Burlington school bus. Way all the way, all the way now. We went to town meeting TV and had a group meeting. Way all the way, all the way now. And I'm going to share with you some comedy jokes and music. Way all the way, all the way, way now. Now. And now we're gonna to interview about our Sora Club experience. Way Halloween, well Halloween now. Here we are, the first interview of the Transforming Muffin Men. All right. What kind of a tree can fit in your hand? Wow. A palm tree. <laughs> 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 All right. What was your experience with the solar eclipse? My experience with the solar eclipse is it was impressive and stunning. And my old friends from Salem, New York, came to see me. Awesome. Where were you? I was at Zane's Meadow, across the street from my house. Awesome. Was there anything that surprised you? I was, I was completely dark. I was my, I was a big surprise. Like pitch black out there. Yes. Okay. What's one word that describes you overall experiences with the eclipse? My, my, that, that is stunning. Stunning. Yes. Thanks. Here we are, interview number two by Brandon Holbrook. All right. What, what did one toilet say to the other toilet? What? You look a bit flushed. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What was your experience with the solar eclipse? Um, it was a good experience. I enjoyed um, watching it for the first time. Okay. And where were you? Um, I was up on a small hill of a mountain. Um, that's where I was, where I saw the solar eclipse. Awesome. Was there anything that surprised you? Uh, mostly having the sun being covered and seeing how black it would be and how dark it would get outside. Okay. What's one word that describes your overall experience with the eclipse? Exciting. Awesome, and thank you. Welcome to the, to the third interview by Jeffrey Washington. By Jeffrey Washington. Okay. What is the best thing to put into a pancake? Um, I'm, I like to put some cr cream. My teeth. My t your teeth. Yeah, get it? It's a joke. Yeah. Okay. Yes, jokes. I, I, like, I like cream. All right. Because the cream is my favorite. Okay. Just make sure to... Another one. All right. Get him in the mood. All right, Jeffrey. This one's funny. You're going to laugh at this one. Yes. What did the apple say to the pear? He said, I am excited. You're silly. Apples can't talk. No, you're silly. Apples can't talk. Yeah, you're silly. Apples can't talk. Okay. Jeff, what was your experience with the solar eclipse? It was so fun. I like go go. I like I like doing an interview. It's so fun. Yeah. I enjoy it, and I like it when the, the moon covers the whole moon covers it. And that was so fun. Okay. And where were you? At my house. Yep. Was there anything that surprised you? I got so excited because they covered the whole moon on, on April the 8th. Awesome. What's one word that describes your overall experience with the eclipse? It, it was so fun. I enjoy it. Awesome. Thank you. Interview number four, um, interviewing Patrick. Brandon. <clears throat> um, what was your experience with the solar eclipse? I thought it was kind of cool when I saw the um, 
the sun getting bright and dark. Where were you? At my house. Um, was there anything that surprised you? Well, when the whole thing was like gone and disappeared. Uh, what's one word that describes your um, overall experience with the solar eclipse? Well, th there's like so many of those things. If I had to pick one, it would say kind of, kind of fun, but I got very sleepy at the end. Nice. All Thank right. you. Well, what is your name? What school do you go to? Can you tell me your name? Patrick Richardson. What school do you go to? Patrick Richardson. What school do you go to? South Burlington High School. Thanks for watching our show. I'm a show. Cosmo. Patrick. Patrick Sutherland. Uh, and Jeffrey. And Patrick Richardson. Jeffrey. All right.